Hey everybody, I am so excited about the dynamic duo that Brother has created with their sewing and embroidery machines and their scanning cut. Who knew that they would make them so I can create a file in my sewing machine, embroidery machine, and cut it out on my scanning cut. That's any kind of embroidery applique design, no matter where you get it. You're gonna be able to create this cut file right in the sewing machine, put it on a USB, put it in the scanning cut. No more difficult cutting with scissors. I'm so excited, I can't wait to show you how easy it is. Okay, I'm here in front of my 8500, my dream machine. Now several brother sewing and embroidery machines will also do this function. You're just gonna have to follow along and see if you have the buttons that I'm choosing to make the cut files. So I'm gonna open embroidery. You may have to open embroidery edit. I'm gonna open embroidery. I'm going to go to my USB and call up my design, and it's an embroidery design from Anita Good Design. It's an applique garden gloves, which are really cute. I'm going to set my design, and now I'm going to go to my edit screen. I want to go to my color changing chart, so I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to scroll down until I see my little color chart in my window, and I'm going to select it. And this button opens up all the colors that are available to change the color of my design. You can see color one is the outline of the garden gloves and that's what I want to use as a cut file. So I'm going to come to the very bottom of my screen here in the center and it is a little tiny icon that's a pair of scissors with a line and it's orange. That's going to add applique material. That's also going to add the file that we need to cut out. So when I select this you can see it says applique material and my color turned orange. If you have more than one piece of applique in your embroidery design, you're just going to scroll down to find that color and shape and choose applique material again. So you can actually cut, you know, 20 pieces out of one applique by adding the file to each color. So I only have one here, so I'm now I'm ready to say okay. And now I'm going to go to memory. I'm going to go to memory and I'm going to save it back onto my USB. That's how I'm going to get it to my scan and cut. And the machine created a, a folder called B Pocket and that's where it sent the design. So now it's on my memory stick and we're going to take it to the scan and cut. All right, now we're ready for the fun. I'm here at my scan and cut. I put my USB stick in the side USB port and I'm going to go to pattern. And now I'm going to go to Save Data, and I'm going to go and choose my USB icon, and up here I'm going to choose that B pocket. Now here is the cool thing, here is the design that I saved. I'm going to open it up, and I love seeing the fact that it's my whole embroidery design, so I know what I'm looking at. I'm going to say OK, and there it is, there's the piece that I need, and I would see all my pieces if it had more than one. I'm going to select my piece and say OK, and here it comes, and there's the sizes. Now I like to increase my size a little bit, so when the second stitching line tacks it down in place, it grabs the edge. So I'm going to set it, and I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to go to Size. Now I know I have to pull it down into the middle of my mat a little bit to change the size. So one, two, I like to do it two or three times, and you always can do a test if you like. And I'm going to say OK, and there it is. Now I can place it anywhere on my mat to cut out. I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to choose Cut, and I'm going to hit Start. Here we go. Look at that. I bet it's going to be absolutely perfect. Now I can't wait to take it back to my dream machine and stitch it out. All right, you can see that here is the stitch outline of my beautiful garden gloves. And this is what makes me very happy. You can see how perfect 
And even though I resize it a little bit, it's just going to lay over that last piece of stitching. It would be very difficult to go in and cut between those fingers um, on with a pair of scissors. So my fabric, before I cut it with my Scan and Cut, was treated with Heat and Blend Light or Steam and Seam 2. Those are my two favorites. And I'm just going to line it up perfectly. And I pulled my hoop out and I laid it on um, a pressing surface. And I just take my little palm iron and I just tack it in place. Just enough to hold it. Now I'm going to slide it back in and finish my embroidery. Who knew it would be that easy? Look how perfect that stitched out. No rough edges. What a time saver. If you own a Brother embroidery machine, I don't know why you wouldn't own a scanning cut. And if you own a scanning cut, I don't know why you wouldn't own a Brother embroidery machine. Together, they're perfect. The dynamic duo of sewing and embroidery. Perfect for anyone's sewing room.